And Rich, when did you first learn about Survivor? How did you first learn about it? My mom called and said, uh, CBS was putting together a show just for me. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah, 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 Ma, okay, in one ear out the She's always got some kind of cockamamie idea for me. But a week later, a friend of mine from Washington had seen the ad as well and emailed me with almost the exact same words. So I, I looked it up on the internet, filled out the application, sent in a video, and met these guys. <laughs> And Jeff, when your resume, you mentioned that it was a piece that you did with Sandra Bullock uh, that helped put oh, you on. The, yeah. Could you talk about that? <clears throat> well, I heard uh, Mark talking on the radio uh, as I was just driving through Los Angeles. And I'd been, I'd been about uh, almost two years without a job trying to find a job I could really connect with, as goofy as that sounds. And uh, uh, I heard him talking about putting 16 people on the island. And it just I, I, said, I was in the car. I thought, oh my god, that is the coolest idea I've ever heard. I'm sure they don't need a host, but I'm going to look into it. And, and um, I ended up getting a meeting with Mark and, and Craig Pligian, and, and they spent, I was there for like two hours, I think, and, and Burnett spent an hour and 45 minutes telling me why I didn't want the job. You are not going to be in a hotel. You're going to have leeches up to your armpits. You're going to wake up with rats right here. I remember you did this, they'll be right there. And, and Craig Pligian, you know, and both these guys are Secret Service, some special operations background, and Pligian's like, the rats are this big, <laughs> they're this damn big. And uh, later, later Mark told me that, that there was a couple of ingredients that he thought, you know, I had done live TV, a lot of live TV, I'd done a lot of TV that no one had ever seen, and, uh, <laughs> and he said, and I had this interview on my tape with Sandra Bullock where at the end we were sort of flirting and unbuttoning each other's shirts and talking about cleavage. And he said something to the effect of, you know, if, if you can get that kind of reaction from a celebrity, then, you know, Richard Hatch is, you know, you have a shot at him. <laughs> that was basically it. 